Aspen University, CJ 440 Juvenile Justice. My name is Andre Rosedale. I'm the instructor for this course. This is Module 5, Discussion Question 2, which reads, The push for more harsh sentencing has led to more juveniles being treated as adults. Do you feel some, all, or no juveniles should be treated as adults? If you answer all, address the Eighth Amendment prohibition against cruel and unusual or excessive punishment. If you answer some, address the concept the concept of equal treatment under the law. If you answer no, address how you would stop a gang of juvenile assassins belonging to MS-13. So acknowledging that the juvenile's culpable state is important is an important factor in these discussions, depending on what um, what argument you're going to pick. Juveniles can imitate adults, but do juveniles know what they're really doing? They're, uh, they're matching what adults are doing. Is it just because they, they hold them in high esteem or they want to be praised by adults, or do they actually realize the crimes that they're doing um, has a bad context to it? Juveniles are influenced by television, mentored by family members or neighborhood figures that have been forced into crime as a way of life, and seeing the respect that criminal acts can cause a, can cause a child to move into criminal acts without understanding the consequences. The juvenile justice system, in my experiences, has not moved to make children feel the consequences for their acts. So what do you think about that? And remember to take into uh, consideration the juvenile's culpable state, how, how guilty their mind is, how guilty they feel or how knowingly they feel when they commit these crimes. Let me know what you think and don't forget your good APA reference.